Hello, and welcome back to another of these bonus episodes. This one's probably going to be a little bit creepy, as we'll be making a few corpses that have been covered with burial shrouds, um, just like these here. So, the first thing we'll need to do is make the stone table, and for this, I've used a piece of foam core and a piece of thin corrugated cardboard, and cut those to the sizes that you can see on the screen. And I'm also going to take a piece of packing polystyrene and cut that a little bit smaller. Then we can take the plain texture from the pillars PDF and wrap that around both of the larger pieces, like so. And we'll also need to take the pillar texture itself and cut out a strip from that that's wide enough to wrap around the edge of our smaller piece so that we end up with something that looks like this. Then it's just a simple matter of gluing one on top of the other, like so. And when it's dry, we should end up with this kind of thing. So yeah, that's the first part finished. Okay, to make the body that goes beneath the shroud, we'll take a piece of double corrugated cardboard that's been cut to the size you can see here, and, uh, and we're then going to cut one end into a shallow point. So something like this. Next we'll make two more angled cuts down towards the bottom edge, but this time we're aiming to leave a bit of the flat edge intact. Um, it's hard to describe exactly, but uh, basically this shape here. Then we can take a one inch square of scrap paper and scrunch that into a ball for the head. And we'll need to cut out a small square of thin corrugated cardboard, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch in size, and, uh, and we'll be using that for the feet. And another thing I like to add, using the same cardboard, is a small coffin-like shape to the chest area, uh, just to give the torso a bit more bulk. And the aim here is to leave a bit of a gap on either side, so uh, here I am just trimming it to a better size. There we go. Right then, now all we'll need to do is glue everything into place. So I'll start by hot gluing the head to the middle of the wider end, so something like that. And I'll then do the same thing for the feet. Uh, making sure that the back edge is flush with the back of the main piece. And finally, I'll stick the chest piece in place with a regular glue stick. And, uh, and there we go. So, there's our little guy finished. And we really don't need to be overly fussy when making these, uh, as you can see with some of my own pieces. Uh, it's just the basic shape that we're concerned with. Okay, now for the assembly. So, there's the table, and there's the little guy we just made. And the first thing we're going to do is glue the body to the centre of the table. Then, for the shroud itself, I've, I've modified one of the textures from the beds PDF and included that in the modifications and requests file, which you can find in the description below. So, from that, we'll need to cut out a piece that's two inches by one and a quarter inches. We can then scrunch that up a few times to make it more malleable and, uh, and also add a few cuts here and there to simulate tears in the cloth and do the same again. And, uh, and once we're happy with that, we can flatten it back out and then apply some glue to the back. So here I am doing just that. Right then, for this final part, all we'll need to do is rest the shroud on top and as we're pressing it down, we're going to pinch it together in a few places to simulate folds and creases and so on. And uh, we're also going to pay particular attention to the ankles on the neck and really make sure that we push the texture down into these areas. And as you can see, I'll also run my thumb along the outside of that extra chest piece, uh, as this kind of has the effect of separating the torso from the arms. Anyway, once all that's done, this is the kind of thing that we should end up with. And yeah, despite the slightly morbid subject matter of this project, I, uh, I'm quite pleased with the way that they've turned out. So yeah, I, uh, I suppose that's it for this one. So this is the part where I ask you to like the video and all that other nonsense, but, uh, but you know what to do. Anyway, bye for now.